Hello students. Welcome back to the online classes. As today is the first day of your sixth semester, the commencement of the sixth semester. So as I am new to your batch, so let me introduce myself, Professor Vinod Desai, working as a faculty. Department of Computer Science and Engineering uh, since 2012. For UI division, as I am going to handle a subject called as Computer Graphics and Visualization. Subject code is 18CS62. Right? So, subject is Computer Graphics and Visualization. Subject code is 18CS62. For this subject, uh, total there are uh, 4 credits. And already you know the uh, examination pattern. Right? Uh, your internal will carry 40 marks. That is CI marks is 40. And your rational examination is for 60 marks. Right? So this subject is uh, completely about uh, the computer graphics concepts and visualization of uh, different graphical objects and all so in this semester parallelly you will be having the computer graphics uh, lab also along with the mini project so you need to perform a mini project here right so first uh, uh, let us understand what are the objectives of this particular subject that is a computer graphics and visualization so the course objectives are this particular course that is a computer graphics and visualization it will enable the students uh, to explain the hardware software and opengl graphics primitives so here i will be understanding uh, the hardware and the software part for the computer graphics and uh, the OpenGL uh, graphics primitives. So OpenGL graphics primitives are nothing but the library functions or the library utility that we can say. And second objective is that this computer graphics and visualization subject it will enable the students to illustrate the interactive computer graphics using OpenGL. Then third objective is it will enable the students to design and implement the algorithms for 2D graphics primitives and attributes. And fourth objective is it will enable the students to demonstrate geometric transformation then uh, weaving on both 2D and 3D objects. And last objective is it will enable the students to infer the representation of curves, surfaces, color and illumination models. So these are what are the main objectives of studying this uh, computer graphics and visualization subject. So today let me introduce uh, the syllabus also, right? So as uh, this subject is having uh, five models, so let me introduce the models one by one. Here, uh, the first model, it uh, deals about uh, the overview of uh, computer graphics where you are going to study the computer graphics and OpenGL means what is meant by computer graphics and what are the different applications of computer graphics then what is meant by OpenGL so OpenGL is nothing but Open Graphics uh, Library Toolkit so basically it is a package here so which will allow us uh, to perform the graphics related operations and this package is having uh, uh, n number of graphics related uh, built-in functions so that will help in uh, creation or demonstration of the graphical objects right and in this model as we are going to study uh, basics of computer graphics then applications of computer graphics then video display devices 
so as you know the most commonly used uh, display device is uh, the monitor so here we'll be studying uh, different types of video display devices like uh, random scan and raster scan displays then uh, graphic software so this is about uh, the graphics hardware then uh, the remaining part of this module is on OpenGL that is uh, Open Graphics Library Utility Toolkit so here we are going to study introduction to OpenGL then coordinate reference frames then specifying two dimensional world coordinate reference frames in OpenGL then OpenGL point functions then OpenGL line functions then point attributes line attributes then curve attributes then OpenGL point attribute functions then OpenGL line attribute functions then line drawing algorithm so here you are going to study uh, the different algorithms which will Uh, help us in uh, demonstrating uh, different graphical operations right so one of such algorithm is line drawing algorithm so that is uh, DDA and uh, Bresenham's line drawing algorithm so Bresenham has given an algorithm for uh, line drawing that is uh, drawing uh, the lines it's a graphical line right the normal is circle generation algorithm that is the Bresenham's circle generation algorithm right so this is about uh, module 1 then module 2 is about uh, fill area primitives then 2D geometric transformations and 2D weaving here you are going to study fill area primitives then polygon fill areas then OpenGL polygon fill area primitives OpenGL polygon fill area functions then fill area attributes then general scan line polygon fill algorithm then OpenGL fill area attribute functions then 2D geometric transformation so here in 2D geometric transformation as you are going to study basic 2D geometric transformations then matrix representations then homogeneous coordinates then comes the inverse transformations then 2d composite transformations and uh, other 2d transformations so this is completely about uh, the transformation of uh, 2d geometric that is a 2d geometric transformation 2d is nothing but two dimensional geometric transformation that is a transformation of uh, geometric objects 2d objects right then comes uh, raster methods for uh, geometric transformations then OpenGL raster transformations then OpenGL geometric transformation functions then next comes uh, 2D weaving that is a uh, two dimensional weaving so this is about uh, weaving of two dimensional objects here you are going to study 2D weaving pipeline then OpenGL 2D weaving functions so whatever the OpenGL functions are there so these functions that we are going to use in your uh, uh, labs where we are going to demonstrate uh, the different types of uh, the graphical objects right so this is about uh, module 2 then module 3 is about uh, clipping then uh, 3d geometrical transformations then color and illumination models right so here you are going to study uh, clipping so what is the clipping operation and what is mainly by uh, clipping window and all and what is the effect of clipping then uh, normalization and weaving transformations then clipping algorithms there are uh, different types of clipping algorithms that you are going to study here so in that uh, some of the uh, clipping algorithms are 2d point clipping 
then 2D lion clipping algorithm, then Cohen Sutherland lion clipping. So this is only for uh, the polygon fill area clipping here. Then Sutherland, Hodgman polygon clipping algorithm. Then 3D geometric transformation. Then 3D translation. So till this point, as uh, you have, you are going to study about uh, 2D. 2D objects, 2D viewing and all, 2D clipping and all. Then uh, remaining half of the model tree is going to deal about uh, 3D, that is uh, three dimensional. Hmm. Here uh, you are going to study three dimensional geometric transformation, three dimensional translation, then rotation, scaling, composite 3D transformations, then other 3D transformations then affine transformations, then OpenGL geometric transformation functions, then color models. So in that you are going to study about properties of light, then color models, then RGB and CMY color models, then illumination models. So illumination you might be knowing, right? The effect of illumination and all. So in this illumination models, as you are going to study light sources, uh, basic illumination models like ambient light, diffusion reflection, specular and uh, form models, then corresponding OpenGL functions, right? So this is about a uh, model tree. So this is in detail about uh, clipping, that is a 2D clipping, then a 3D geometric transformation, then color and illumination models and also their effects right then model 4 is about uh, 3d viewing and uh, visible surface detection so in this you are going to study 3d viewing what is meant by 3d viewing some of the 3d viewing concepts then a 3d viewing pipeline then 3d viewing coordinate parameters then transformation from world to viewing coordinates then projection transformation, then orthogonal projections, then perspective projections, then the viewport transformation and 3D screen coordinates. Then the remaining part of this model is about uh, OpenGL 3D viewing functions, then visible surface detection methods, then classification of visual surface detection algorithms, depth buffer method and OpenGL visibility detection function. So this is about the model 4. So model 4 is in detail about 3D viewing and visible surface detection. Then last model is about the input and interaction, then curves and computer animation. So here we are going to study input and interaction, then input devices, clients and servers, then display list, then display list and modeling, then programming, event driven input, then venous speaking, then building interactive models, then animating interactive programs, then comes the design of interactive programs then logic operations, then core surfaces, then quadratic surfaces, then OpenGL quadratic surface and cubic surface functions, then Bezier spline curves, then Bezier surfaces. Here you are having one Bezier curve demonstration also as one of the lab term work, right? So, and a theoretical concept that we will be studying here in this web model. That is a Bezier spline curves, Bezier surfaces, then OpenGL curve functions, and finally corresponding OpenGL functions. So this is about uh, the model phi, right? So if you look into the course outcomes, means what is the outcome of studying this subject, right? So after studying this particular subject, the student will be able to design and implement the algorithms for 2D graphics primitives and attributes then the students will be able to illustrate the geometric transformations on both 2d and 3d objects 
then student will be able to apply the concepts of clipping and visible circuit detection in 2D and 3D viewing and illumination models and finally the student will be able to decide a suitable hardware and software for developing the graphics package using OpenGL right so these are what uh, the outcome of studying this particular subject that is computer graphics and visualization then about the textbooks and the reference books right so uh, two textbooks are prescribed here uh, to understand this particular subject that is computer graphics and visualization first one is uh, computer graphics with open gl by donald Horn and uh, pauline baker the 2011 edition and second textbook is Interactive Computer Graphics, a top-down approach with OpenGL by Edward Engel, 2008 edition. So these two textbooks are sufficient to understand all the concepts of this particular subject, that is Computer Graphics and Visualization. Apart from this, there are some reference books also, like Computer Graphics with OpenGL by James Foley, Andrews Van Damon, yes, Steven. Penner and John Phillips. One more reference book is Computer Graphics by Jiang and Plastoff. Then third one is uh, Interactive Computer Graphics Concepts and Applications by Kelvin Sung and Peter uh, Shirley. The, the last reference book is Computer Graphics Using OpenGL by M. M. Riker and Sridhar Case. So this is what are the uh, textbook information of course both the textbooks are there in our library and even you can get the online version of this textbook also that you can download from the google right so this is about the course objectives then uh, the syllabus and the course outcome of this particular subjects so today i have discussed about uh, the syllabus part of this computer graphics and visualization and in the next class that I am going to start with module 1 and I will introduce uh, the basics of this particular subject thank you